Okay, this is Tom, Mr. Excitement, TechBait.net, crypto blogger. Quick Sunday update. Um, there's a lot of good headlines here on TechBait for a Sunday. Bahrain talking about cutting vehicle data storage costs using blockchain. Comedian at the Ethereum conference. Congressional candidate vows to gauge voter sentiment with blockchain. That's pretty good. Um, XJP Morgan blockchain lead talking about a stealth startup vision. Ethereal Summit news. Um, startup enables users to pay Ethereum at 11 million locations like cash. That that's a that's a big thing possibly. I'm not going to follow these links. You can go to techbait.net and follow them if you want. I'm just highlighting them here. Um, cryptocurrency market begins recovery. Ethereum up 5%. Ontology and Storm up 12%. The market is up today. Uh, check out my Bitcoin t-shirt designs. And uh, um, the bulls are looking to steady the ship. German bank using Bitcoin to handle international loans. That's interesting. So anyway, there's a lot of cool stuff out there. Women in blockchain. U.S. mutual fund VP says blockchain will help drive this next industrial revolution. Still think this is fake? Okay. Right, Bitcoin at 86.95. Ethereum is up over 700 again at 736.08. Looks like everything's up. This is a 24 hour scale. Neo's up to 68. It's not quite up past 70 yet where it was, but it's getting there. V chain 477, still below five bucks a coin, people. Still below five bucks a coin. That's a good thing in the short term. Um, Binance is up over 13 again. Celica at 17 cents. I wonder if I go way down one of my little chances that I took. But it was a very cheap chance to take. Um, where is it? I don't see it. Where's Holochain? There it is, Holotoken. Point. 001 still, right? Still 0.0012. It's down a little bit. Oh, well. Didn't risk much on it. That's long term anyway. So, uh, V chain. That's a seven day chart. I'm telling you people, this one here is possibly very big. Possibly, I love those loud motorcycles, huh? The background. V chain, possibly very, very big in the future. Do your research on this one. Do your research on this one, because this one is a potential big one in the future. Okay, so anyway, um, market's looking up. This week is going to be a big, big week for news. Um, Big week for news. We got the consensus starting tomorrow. Don't expect the market to moon right away. Police, I know there's been a lot written about this, and it's potentially a lot of great news for the market, but don't expect anything radical right away. This could take weeks to percolate. could take months to percolate. All right, but the overall sentiment will be up. A lot of good things will come from this conference. There's a lot of big money institution people probably there and looking around. There's a lot of good things to come, okay? But uh, don't expect, like, you know, some of these YouTubers are talking about, you know, they were saying, oh, market's going to moon middle of May with consensus. And now all of a sudden, they're all, you know, at least one, one of them I know is backing off, saying, oh, don't expect it to moon right away. Right? You're darn right. Don't expect it to moon right away. Don't. <laughs> Let's see what happens, especially with Mt. Gox, trustee out there moving his coins around, okay? So, uh, keep your ear to the ground. 
Watch everything you can. Hit techbait.net for tech news, right? And uh, look around. That's all I can say. Be aware. Look around. You don't know where the next good or bad, and you know where the possible good news is coming from, but you don't know where the next bad news is coming from. Um, and I think long-term, everything's bullish, right? So if you're a long-term holder, don't worry about it. But if you're a trader or you're looking to get something uh, the most for your money on certain tokens or coins you might be looking at, you never know what's going to happen, you know? Like I said, Mount Cox dumps, everything dumps, you know? Um, in that case, if you can get everything out to tether quick enough, that might be an option for some of you. But you got to be quick on that. You got to you got to get the news before the market prices in and reacts, and that's usually tough, especially if it happens overnight. So, like I say, the the people who who um, benefit the most are the long term holders who have good positions. Me, I'm overall a long term holder. My trading bots are backed up right now. That's just to like keep things interesting and uh, make micro trades and build up certain positions over time. Um, but it's nowhere near a long-term strategy. Long-term holding is the only true winning strategy um, in buying things that you think are gonna are gonna take off eventually. So anyway, good luck out there. Um, I'll be trying to drop videos when I can, reacting to certain news and market sentiment. And I'm still looking to get into VG and having that time. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, please like and subscribe and hit the notification icon. Thank you.